back now and back by popular demand, the 412th Air Wing at Edwards Air Force Base is opening its gates to the public this weekend for the first Aerospace Valley open house and air show in 13 years. Here with a sneak peek, 17's Robert Price. The U.S. Air Force is back in the entertainment business, in a manner of speaking. The Aerospace Valley Open House and Air Show takes place this Saturday and Sunday at Edwards Air Force Base in East Kern. And although the event promises to send spectators' hearts racing with excitement, there's a bigger goal. Education and inspiration. The event will include a STEM expo, that's science, technology, engineering, and math, for kids of all ages, but especially ages 3 to 13. The first air show in more than a decade falls on an auspicious weekend. It was 75 years ago this week that Chuck Yeager broke the sound barrier right here in these same skies above the Mojave Desert. Air Force pilots do that routinely these days. If you're coming to the show, get here early and consider earplugs because sonic booms will be abundant courtesy of the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. This is Captain Daniel Katz who says he works from the best office in the world. That really pulls at the heartstrings. It makes you feel alive and makes you, uh, you get to hear a lot of jet noise. You get to see some really cool stunts. And then uh, there's a couple surprises that I won't ruin, but it's a really, really fun experience for the whole coal crowd. Brigadier General Matthew Heiger commander of the 412th Test Wing, says the STEM Expo will have more than 60 hands-on displays designed to inspire the next generation of pilots, aircraft designers, engineers, and mechanics. But he says, get here early. Make sure you go to avairshow.com to get information on what gate to navigate to and then the status on parking. I also encourage folks to download the Edwards Air Force Base app. In addition to the Air Force Thunderbirds, performers will include the Wings of Blue Parachute Team, several NASA aircraft, five world-renowned aerobatic performers, and nearly every aircraft in the modern USAF inventory. What more could a fan of military aviation ask for? Maybe just this, free admission. But only for the first 50,000 people on Saturday and the first 50,000 on Sunday. After that, tough luck. Gates open at 8.30 a.m. each day with the expo starting at 10 and the air show at 11. Robert Price, 17 News. Two pilots from Rosamond and their home-built airplane set to perform at the air show this weekend have been featured on the cover of National Aviation Magazine. Paul and Victoria Rosales have been recognized by the Experimental Aircraft Association. The EAA says it selects aircrafts for its magazine covers based on the unique role they play within the aviation community. The cover photo was taken as the special aircraft was flying over the grounds of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Paul and Victoria Rosales took their first flight in their RV-6A aircraft in July of 2020. Since then, they have flown to 49 states in the U.S. and 16 islands in the Lesser Antilles. As of this October, the pair have flown over 5,000 hours, the equivalent of flying 33 times around the world at the equator. That is a lot of time in the pilot seat. It is. Bottom line.